This is a big deal, guys. We are seeing x-rays, not just dust and ice. I'm talking about interstellar objects slash comet slash spaceship slash space junk or slash whatever the heck it is. This is very, very fascinating, guys. So stay with me. Our mysterious visitor from outside our solar system, 3i Atlas, is not just drifting by, but it's glowing and it's glowing in x-rays. It's not just what a normal comet coma is displaying. That's something, guys, that we've never seen before with an interstellar object. So this is exciting. Please stay with me. And hey, guys, do me a favor. Could you give this video an early like and press that new hype button? That's supporting my channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Let's dive right in what 3i Atlas is doing. That object and I'm always saying whatever the heck it is, guys, because it has so many anomalies. If you watch my channel on a regular basis, you have probably seen those videos. If not, check the playlist in the end screen. So according to a new report, the telescope, I've mentioned that briefly in my last video, it's called XI. XRISM, it's pronounced PRISM, has captured the first ever X-ray image of 3i Atlas. So that means 3i Atlas is not just reflecting sunlight or just shining invisible light. It's basically interacting with the sun, guys, interacting with the sun and the solar wind in a way that produces these high energy X-rays. That's why I said at the beginning, that's huge, 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 guys. And I show you now the first image that shows these x-rays really on a, on a good display so that we can really see what I am talking about. So in this image, you basically see a faint fuzzy glow around the object, around 3i Atlas. And that glow is the key. That glow, that's the x-rays we're talking about. That's not ice and that's not dust. And what does x-rays that are coming from a, let's call it comet for now, mean? Let's talk about the simple physics behind that first. And then, as always, let's talk about our friend 3i Atlas and how that is strange. So to understand why what we're looking at is important and i'll show you briefly the other image here and we will talk about in depth what we're seeing in this image as well but i said simple physics so let's start with that to understand why this is important we need to know a little bit more about how comets and x-rays normally i have to say interact um, but I'll keep it super simple, guys, I'll, I'll promise. So a comet is basically a dirty snowball that is made of ices like water and carbon dioxide and dust that's on the surface of it. And as a comet approaches the sun, some of this ice turns into gas because it's being heated up right away from that form. It turns right away into gas and it forms a cloud around the comet that is called coma. And meanwhile, the sun constantly sends out a stream of charged particles that we call the solar wind. And it's mostly fast moving ions, basically atoms that are stripped of electrons. And when those charged solar wind ions slam into the neutral gas around the comet, the gas is neutral, a process called charge exchange can happen. The solar wind ion grabs one or more electrons from the comet's gas atoms. That's what charge exchange means. And that event is the, the key. That event, when that happens, it emits X-ray photons. That is, in easy words, high energy light that we can't see with our eyes, but telescopes like PRISM can. It can see them, and now we can see them too. And this process has been seen many times for comets within our solar system. So this is a known natural phenomenon with comets that are coming and originating from 
our solar system. So X-ray emission from a comet is not weird by itself. What is weird is that now an interstellar object like 3i Atlas is showing exactly that behavior for the first time ever. The other two that we have discovered so far, these objects did not display that. So that tells us 3i Atlas has a coma, gas and dust cloud that is actually interacting with the sun's winds the solar winds, like, just like solar system comets can do. So what could that mean for someone that's coming from another star system? What does this prism detecting, detection show us and why does this matter? So prism's extent camera, that's the name of the camera, took an X-ray image of 3i Atlas. This image shows this faint halo that's a glow that's surrounding the object and it's extending up to 400,000 kilometers from its center. That's how widespread this glow is. And they also analyze the x-ray spectrum, the colors of x-rays. These are not visible colors but they're energetic signatures. And they saw, and that was interesting, evidence of elements like carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. These are the same kind of atoms expected if the solar wind ions collide with gas from the comet. So that's why they could build this theory. What does that tell them? Well, the x-rays are almost certainly produced by this known natural process, solar wind hitting the comet's gas and generating charge exchange reactions that we just learned what that is. So 3i Atlas behaves like a comet in that sense. This supports the idea, guys, like despite being from another star system, that 3i Atlas still follows familiar physics, our physics, when it enters our solar system. Because now the good thing is we can study its coma, the gas cloud, composition via x-rays. That gives another independent way, like besides visible light, infrared light, and radio, to learn what 3i Atlas is made of. And that's so important for us. How dense is it, its atmosphere? How far does it spread? And how does it interact with our sun? So that prism detection, guys, does not prove that 3i Atlas is alien or artificial. But what it definitely does do is it adds real physical evidence that this interstellar visitor has a real gas and dust environment like a comet. And that environment reacts to the sun just like comets in our solar system. So we could say, over and done, this is a natural comet, ha ha ha. But there is something that it doesn't prove, guys, so that's why it's not so easy. And that's what remains mysterious. Let's get to that. Even with the X-ray detection, guys, lots of big questions remain about 3i Atlas because what we know is that this, this, this detection alone does not show anything unusual. Yes, no signs of technology, for example, that it could be a probe or a spaceship, like propulsion systems or any artificial behavior. It's basically consistent with natural comet physics. It also doesn't answer all the strange behaviors that we've previously seen with 3i Atlas, all these anomalies. It doesn't explain, that is not an explanation for these anomalies. The anomalies therefore still exist and we do not have an explanation. If you wanna learn about all these anomalies, check out my videos, guys. For me, the most crucial one is that it changed direction when it was in perihelion and it's now directly, that can't be a coincidence, probability is zero to Jupiter's hill radius, that it meets the hill radius. So 
Also, the odd tail behavior we talked about this, the weird jet directions, the possible non-gravitational acceleration, unusual chemical signatures. We found cyanide. I made a video about that. So they, they all, all these anomalies, I think it's 15 by now, they remain unexplained. And many people say that let's say this was artificial of course it wants us to think this is a normal comet that's why it would display some normal comet behavior so what this new detection is um it doesn't give us a full picture of the comet's complete composition the x-rays tell us about interaction with the solar wind but they don't directly measure everything like the ices, the metals, the dust grain sizes, etc. So the X-ray glow adds a strong data point, but by far, guys, it doesn't solve the mystery. So what we can say since this discovery, 3i Atlas is no longer just a point of light that is visible in telescopes. It's now been seen in x-rays. It confirms its gas and dust cloud is real and that it's interacting um, with the sun. That makes it behave like a comet, even though it came from another star system. It's an interstellar object. Definitely this new x-ray detection gives scientists a new tool to study 3i Atlas's composition and structure, in addition to visible infrared and radio observations. 3i Atlas, guys, it's not solved yet. It remains a fascinating mystery, but step by step, we're adding the pieces of puzzle together. But so many pieces of this puzzle are still missing. I hope you like this video, guys. Check out my playlist here in the end screen. If you want to learn about earthquakes, volcanoes, and stuff like this, um, we just had a big one in Japan, magnitude 7.6. Check out the videos in the end screen or go to my channel start page, click on videos on recent, then you see everything that's going on in the world. I'm on the pulse for you. If you want to support the channel, guys, check the link in the description. You can buy me coffee there. Thank you for your super skies and your support and your comments. And let me know in the comments, do you think um, 3i Atlas is a comet? Nothing to see here. Or could this be something else? I would like to know. So stay safe. Be prepared. I see you in a second if you click here. Bye-bye.